Welcome to the 52nd episode of Democracy at the Crossroads. Like the last episode, this time too, we will focus on electoral bonds. In the last episode, we discussed how the electoral bonds were used as kickbacks by some businesses and some sale companies. In a few cases, they used electoral bonds to get big contracts and in some other cases to get the ED, CBI or income tax off their back. In this episode, we will expose the blatant falsehood being spread by the BJP leaders who had introduced the electoral bond ostensibly to fight black money but actually to institutionalize black money. Look at the Home Minister of the country. He went to the India Today conclave the other day and said, the Supreme Court's invalidation of the electoral bond scheme will bring back the dominant play of cash in the elections. What a fraudulent claim. What the Home Minister means to say is this, with the introduction of the electoral bond, cash had been eliminated or at least minimized during the elections in the last six years. Those who are dunderheads will believe this crap. Consider this. During the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the BJP had received less than 3,000 crore through the electoral bonds. But as the Center for Media Studies a respected research organization pointed out, after examining various data available in the public domain, the BJP alone spent more than 27,000 crore during the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. What does it mean? It means that BJP received 24,000 crore or thereabouts from sources other than the electoral bond. If you take into account the fact that the BJP got another 2-3 thousand crore from the electoral trusts and some other known sources, it still received and used more than 20 thousand crore that came as cash, which is essentially unaccounted for money. That's almost 80% of the electoral expenditure of the BJP was unaccounted for money veritably black money. That was the case after the introduction of electoral bonds in January 2018. It is not as if the entire 3000 crore or so that came to the BJP through the electoral bonds is indeed accounted for money, is indeed white money. As we have come to see after the landmark Supreme Court judgment so many unknown sale companies, so many hugely loss-making companies, so many steady individuals who have contributed to the ruling BJP's kitty. It was all shrouded in secrecy. The BJP had masterminded the electoral bonds that way. It was to be shrouded in secrecy. It was a virtually open call to the SEDI companies. Turn your black money into white by depositing it in the State Bank of India and then buying electoral bonds with that same money. It was an open message. There is no limit. You can deposit as much of your black money in the State Bank of India as you can. And no ED, no CBI, no income tax will be on your trail if you buy electoral bonds with that black money that you have turned white by depositing in the bank. It's a win-win situation for both. The BJP gets the kickback in its official bank account. The ruling party ensured that with the electoral bond scheme, it would not have to collect bribes through middlemen because 
the middleman process was difficult to keep a tab on so many of them. It's now simple and straightforward. The bribe money by small players will come straight to the official bank account. The small players were also happy. They were earlier unsure if their bribe money would reach the right quarters to get the benefit they want, to get the contracts they are bidding, or to get the ED, CBI or income tax cases dropped, as the case may be. So what does it show? The BJP leaders who are mourning that black money will come back into play because of the quashing of the electoral bonds should see themselves in the mirror. 80% of their expenses during the last general election came from donations in cash, mostly black money. About 10% of that expenses came through the electoral bonds and as we showed, most of these 10% that came through the electoral bonds was camouflaged black money turned white by depositing in the SBI for the buying of electoral bonds. This conversion of black money into white money, this process was beyond the realm of ED, CBI income tax as these transactions were supposed to remain secret by the electoral bond scheme itself. Unfortunately for them, the Supreme Court of India played the spoil sport by forcing SBI to make the data public. But then all is not lost for the BJP. The ruling party is assured that the big established business houses who have not contributed through the electoral bonds. They have not contributed through the electoral bonds. They will continue to line the ruling party's pockets through cash and kind, as they did in the 2019 elections, as they did before. That system is much more streamlined. Only headed for the BJP leader is that they will have to now deal with middlemen for kickbacks from thousands of smaller players. The BJP had dispensed with the services of the middlemen after the introduction of the electoral bonds. Now with the Lok Sabha elections around the corner and the electoral bonds passed, the BJP will have to return to the middleman culture for kickbacks and for extortion money. So, for the ruling BJP, the difference is this. In fact, the difference is minimal. When the electoral bond scheme was in operation, 80% of the BJP's expenses was through black money, through cash and kind. Only 10% of the black money was laundered white and came through the electoral bond route. Now, almost the entire electoral funding, except for the electoral trusts, will be through the informal cash and kind route. The cash, the black money was the king before electoral bond. Cash remained the king during the six years of electoral bond scheme. And cash, the black money, will continue to reign after the electoral bond scheme has been abandoned. The only way to minimize the cash play the play of black money in the elections is, in my view, by making two regulations. One, the upper limit for poll expenditure must be fixed for all parties. And second, no corporate body can pay money directly to a political party. But I know BJP will not accept this because that will spoil their entire game. Thank you.